the nation's social and human development. Practices and behaviors that build our self-esteem. Our self-identification. Culture defines who we are. History tells us where we come from. A reminder of past struggles, victories, perseverance, and strength. To make us whom we are today. Culture is dynamic. Constantly evolving. Without active preservation, traditional practices can slip through the cracks of time and disappear. Forever. History is subjective. A chronicle the writer thinks is crucial to remember. Commemorations. Acknowledgements. Heroes. Shape our collective and national identity. But time waits for no one. With each passing moment, memory fades. The Niche Act was passed in 2000, giving birth to the National Institute of Culture and History, a statutory body designed to bring together diverse government departments which had historically worked to preserve and promote Belizean culture. Between then and its enactment in 2003, amendments were made to the legislation and preparations for in the consolidation of Niche began. This included the start of a number of major infrastructural projects to be managed by Niche, a new upskill performing arts center at the site of the Old Bliss Institute in Belize City, the conversion of Her Majesty's prison into a museum, the transformation of the government house in Belize City, the old market in Orange Walk into houses of culture, and the conservation and further development of key archaeological sites such as Lamanai, Altunha, Shunantunich and Karakol. Work progressed so well on the prison in Belize City that the Museum of Belize was able to open February 2002, just in time to host a gathering of CARICOM leaders meeting in Belize for its launch. On August 27, 2003, the Niche Act was signed into law, ushering in a new focus for arts and culture in Belize. The work to merge once independent institutions under one umbrella, preserve our tangible and intangible heritage, inspire new generations to take active interest in our culture and history, as well as motivate and support our Belizean artists began in earnest. Niche's greatest tangible asset was and continues to be our archaeological parks. Recognizing the value of our Maya sites to Belize's tourism product, Niche focused much of its attention during the early years on safeguarding our tangible cultural heritage through the preservation and management of Belize's ancient and historical monuments and artifacts. Significant investments were made and continue to be made at major archaeological reserves, transforming them into and maintaining them as world-class parks, welcoming and accessible to the public and the increasing number of visitors to our shores. To date, Altunha and Shunantunich are the most visited land sites, with the ATM Cave and the Nohokche N Caves branch the most visited cave sites, with increased visitation noted each year. Work is also being done to preserve our colonial history. The Serpent Sugar Mill in the Stan Creek District opened in 2009, becoming Belize's first archaeological and historical park, and excavations on St. George's Key are ongoing. Finding new ways to make Belize's rich history and culture exciting and accessible was and continues to be a top priority for Niche. Textbooks for schools were developed, original publications on Belize's historic sites and its people written, and cultural and historical forums organized. More recently, research competitions for high school and tertiary levels were introduced. A TV show called Belize Culture, designed to connect our youth with their cultural and historic past, was developed. And our annual archaeological symposium, now in its 11th year, has evolved in the past two years into the Belize Archaeology and Anthropology Symposium. 
This annual forum was introduced on the niche as a means through which researchers working on archaeological sites in Belize could share their findings with the Belizean public and stakeholders, with the papers presented being published in an accompanying journal. In its expanded form, the symposium allows for presentations on archaeological as well as social, cultural and historical research on Belize. The Museum of Belize is and continues to be Niche's premier showroom. It hosts a wide variety of stimulating exhibitions year-round that offer exciting new interpretations on Belize's documented, photographic and oral history, making it a popular destination for schools from all over the country. With opening hours now extended to Saturdays, many families have made it theirs as well. In keeping with the niche goal of decentralizing cultural activities from Belize City, the exhibitions also travel to the Houses of Culture in the districts. Houses of Culture are community centers for artistic expressions, cultural retrieval and preservation. There are currently six of them. The Government House, House of Culture in Belize City, Banquitas House of Culture in Orange Walk Town, Benke Viejo House of Culture in Benke, the Carousel House of Culture in Carousel Town, the San Ignacio Santa Elena House of Culture in San Ignacio and the San Pedro House of Culture in San Pedro. Discussions are currently ongoing with Gulisi Museum in Dangriga to see how we can foster a stronger relationship and begin the groundwork to establish a house of culture in the South. Recognizing that the cultural growth of our people lies in the nurturing of the expressive arts, Niche has from its very inception been the catalyst igniting an explosion of creative arts in Belize and ushering in a new cultural renaissance. High standards and quality in contemporary visual, literary and performing arts have been set. Festivals and other instances of cultural spaces have been created to showcase the arts and encourage discussion amongst industry stakeholders. Programs continue to be designed with the aim of professionalizing Belize's growing cadre of artists and cultural workers and support made available to those willing to form associations. A specific focus on youth and culture has also been undertaken starting with the creation of the National Youth Orchestra and Choir of Belize, a group designed to promote widespread positive transformation within Belizean society by providing young people with resources that enable them to contribute to their communities as impassioned, skilled and responsible citizens, both musically and extra-musically. Guided by the concept of preserving the past and producing the future, Niche in its formative years accelerated programs, activities and events across the cultural spectrum, changing along the way our notion of cultural development. The appointment of a new president for Niche in 2008 enable the institution to take stock of these accomplishments and develop a five-year strategic plan to chart the course needed to further the goal of making culture central to all aspects of Belize's development. This second period in the life of Niche aimed to consolidate the identity of the institution and concretize its role in the creation of an enabling environment for the development, conservation, promotion, expression and accessibility of culture. Key to this new focus for Niche was the immediate upgrade of the Institute of Social and Cultural Research from a desk inside the government house to a full-fledged institute with a director and permanent staff. A crucial investment in an institute whose work continues to support Niche's strategic goal of ensuring that the collective historical memory of all Belize's diverse cultural groups play a major role in the strengthening of our national identity and social cohesion. As co-chair and secretariat of the National Celebrations Commission, Niche has successfully lobbied for the inclusion of all three of Belize's capitals to be included in the September celebrations starting with the launch of each year's festivities at St. George's Key, the official ceremonies for the 10th in Belize City and the anniversary of our independence on the 21st in Belmopan. It also established an annual national song competition to encourage the creation of new patriotic and carnival songs. Additionally, it steers the Carnival Commission with the intention of growing this popular annual event into a full-fledged creative industry with the ability to provide jobs year-round.
Niche has also spearheaded a number of unprecedented accomplishments that honor our history and our people. These include the declaration of St. George's Key as a historical landmark, the recognition of the Heroes of Flowers Bank with a monument and ceremony, and public acknowledgement of our two national heroes, the Right Honorable George Price and the Honorable Philip Coulson. This was done by successfully lobbying for the change of name of the March 9th holiday from Baron Bliss to Heroes and Benefactors Day, and the change of names for the Northern and Western Highways to the Philip Coulson and George Price Highways respectively. Building alliances with regional and international partners is another of Niche's key strategic goals to raise Belize's cultural profile to a higher international level. Niche's robust archaeological program continues to attract prominent university researchers whose investigations in recent years have led to a number of remarkable finds in the Maya world. In 2004, researchers looking for evidence of salt production in coastal communities discovered an ancient Maya canoe paddle at the bottom of a swampy lagoon in Payne Creek National Park. Intensive tests dated the Sapodilla paddle back to the late classic period. At 1300 years old, this paddle is the only wooden Maya artifact to have ever been discovered in the Maya world. Through association with its partners, Niche continues to put Belize at the forefront of cutting-edge research and world news. In 2009, NASA funded a University of Central Florida study on Caracol with LIDAR, a new technology that uses light and radar to measure distances. The remote sensing project was done to determine if LIDAR could be used to see below the forest canopy and provide a more complete picture of the ancient Maya landscape. Caracol, already considered Belize's largest Maya site after having been studied and excavated for 25 years, became even larger when in just a few weeks of LIDAR work, a detailed map of 80 square miles of the site was created, about eight times the size of what had been previously mapped. Another major grant to conduct further LIDAR surveys has recently been received, making Belize the most intensively studied Munda Maya country using this groundbreaking survey technology. Niche currently employs 145 persons full-time with expertise in archaeology, museology, education and research, creative arts, film and media, communications, management and human resources. The work of the entire culture sector in Belize is financed by a novel approach that came into being with the birth of Niche. An annual subvention from government complemented primarily by earnings from fees charged at archaeological reserves. Other income comes from sales of other services and products and loans and grants through our own and our ministry's efforts. Collaboration with artists from the various creative arts have produced significant actions over the past 10 years that have contributed to our cultural growth. There are also many instances where creative industries have already been contributing to Belize's economic development directly and indirectly through income from performances, product sales, and money spent by incoming film production companies. Yet, the contributions of Belize's cultural sector is still not fully measured in the country's economic indicators. Work has begun on mapping Belize's cultural landscape and the creation of a database to accumulate the necessary data. The recognition and quantification of culture's contribution to Belize will allow us to strategically link culture to Belize's economic development, thereby allowing all Belizeans to enjoy social and economic benefits from this relationship. Additionally, Niche has been working on the development of a national culture policy for Belize since 2012 building on several attempts made over the past 20 years. This policy will be completed this year and will guide government and all cultural stakeholders in the administration and development of a sustainable cultural economy. Other plans for the future include continued investment in the infrastructure of our archaeological parks, the building of a national museum in Belmopan, legislation of the Heritage Trust Project for Historical Districts in Belize, legislation of the Belize Film Commission, digitizing and expanding our national collections, 
growing and maintaining partnership relations with like-minded institutions in the region and internationally, and establishing a cultural development fund geared to provide more meaningful support to arts and culture organizations and initiatives. Niche calls on all Belizeans to learn more about our history, our culture, our heritage. We urge you to be proud of this heritage and share it with each other and the world. Become actors in the growth and development of this multicultural Belize. Sustain our cultural renaissance.